no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net Coming to you today from Montreal, Canada there's a new drug that doctors have recently discovered, and it could be the miracle drug for depression because it doesn't cause the side effects that other antidepressants cause, like emotional numbness and suicidal tendencies. That's right. Some antidepressants cause suicide. It's like Nicorette gum causing a crack addiction or Viagra making you ugly. It defeats the goddamn point. Apparently, it's not that the drugs create the suicidal thoughts. It's that the drug makes it so that some depressed people finally have the energy and stick to to get the job done. So before antidepressants, I guess some depressed people are like, Oh, I want to end it. I'm ready to be done with this shit show, this bullshit parade of daily instant coffee followed by microwave-ready non-events and discontent. But jumping out the window sounds like a whole thing with the thing. You gotta get the stool, and then you gotta lift the window, and then third thing, and I'm not even sure I w wouldn't pull my hammy just getting out on the ledge, and uh, fuck it, I'll, maybe tomorrow. But then you give the person antidepressants, and they're like, all right, let's do this shit. I'll jump out windows all day long. Anyway, the miracle drug is called ketamine, and it doesn't have those problems. But the reason you can't buy ketamine from a drugstore is that it does something even worse. It makes you, wait for it, high. That's right. This rancid Lucifer juice of a pill makes you happy and full of life and delusionally euphoric. Because the one thing we cannot have is happy people. Being artificially content would fuck up the entire system. Depressants, like alcohol, we're fine with. Fill everybody to the brim with the substance that slowly dims their wits and makes them cry quietly into a stranger's arms after vomiting in the bathroom of a bar. We don't even seem to have much of a problem with cancer-causing substances. The Clean Water Act is violated like a hundred thousand times a year with no punishment, not to mention plastics and GMOs, artificial sweeteners, or BPA. It's completely acceptable if a substance gives you cancer or seizures, diabetes, heart disease, or ball sack gangrene. As long as we make goddamn certain nothing is causing excessive happiness in the populace. No happiness, unless you get it from causing harm to others. If that's the case, then we have a chair for you on the board of a multinational. That's been your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. The five-minute video about my comedic investigation of tax havens filmed live in the Cayman Islands is now up. Click here to watch it. It was done in coordination with the Yes Men, the other 98% U.S. uncut and qualified laughter. You'll like it. Trust me. No plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.